Hi, my name is Dr. Alan Lim. I'm a sports physiologist and the founder at Scratch Labs, and this is Ask Alan. So a question I get all the time is, why is sugar so bad for me? Why will it kill me? Why are people so scared? Why sugar? Ah. So is sugar bad for me? Yeah, sugar is probably bad for you, especially the way you eat it, which is to like guzzle loads of it down your gullet all day long. That being said, in the context of physical activity or exercise or sweating your butt off, sugar can be an incredible performance enhancer. It can be essential to helping you to fuel your body during activity and combined with sodium, it can actually help to move water across the small intestine faster than water alone. It's like a big old water bus that is driven by sodium and glucose, moving all that water across the wall. So. Don't worry about the wall. We got sodium, we got sugar, and we're moving that water across the wall. Sucralose, aspartame, Splenda, Stevia, all this stuff. We use real sugar because we're fueling real athletes who actually need sugar for fuel and for better hydration. We use cane sugar because it's one part glucose and one part fructose. And by having those two types of sugars, we can access two transporters within the small intestine for faster fuel transport. We don't need the artificial stuff because all the artificial stuff does is trick your brain into thinking that you're getting something that it actually needs when you need it or satisfying some sort of hedonistic urge. But the reality is, is if you're physically active, if you're working your butt off, you need the real stuff, not the fake stuff. Hey, thanks for watching Ask Alan. If you've got a question about sports nutrition or hydration that you're too lazy to Google, well, leave your question in the comments below or use the hashtag AskAllen on social and I may just Google it for you. See you soon.